Hi everyone! Today we will talk about parasha path function. So let's start our lesson number 20. If you have a second, please subscribe to my channel. When do we need to use Photoshop path and why? Open our geometric abstract file. Zoom in, look. The old geo elements have the clean outline, but they are not shaped perfectly. Usually it's okay, it's an artistic print, it doesn't have to look like a, any mechanical sketch. But sometimes we need to have perfect smooth and crispy lines for special printing purpose. Open the new file. Go to Tool Palette, choose Freeform Pen Tool and draw any shape. Go to Window, Path Palette, from drop down menu choose Save Path. Using Add Anchor Point, delete Anchor Point and Convert Point tools, you can adjust your path to achieve the desired shape. Also, you can use Path Selection tool to move entire shape or Direct Selection tool to move the anchor. Now, go to our Geo file. Let's reshape this element to make it more even. Create a new layer and redraw this shape using Freeform tool. In this case, let's use Pen tool. It allows us to make the anchor correction while we are drawing. If you get practice, you can do this very fast. But can we speed up our process somehow? Yes, sure. Go to Magic 1 tool. Contiguous check. What about Tolerance? Here's the trick. If your file is already color separated, look, the edges are clean. Choose Tolerance 0. If you have blurry edges, increase your tolerance to achieve desired shape. In any case, you will have the selection. Go to Path Palette. From drop-down menu, choose Make Work Path. You will get Path Tolerance menu. Let's try a couple of options. Half pixels. Look the amount of anchors you will have. If you decide to adjust your path, you will have to adjust each of them. Maybe it's more accurate, but there is too much work. Try to increase tolerance. Uh, one pixel, two pixels. I think two is enough for this detail. Save this path, go to the menu, or just double-click. Let's call it Path 1. You can adjust the path using your creativity. Now, let's create the new layer. Call it Shape Layer. For this element, choose color slightly different than original. Go to the menu, select Fill Path. See, we feel this shape. What I like about this method, even though our art is blurry and the magic wand tolerance was not zero, the shape filling is clean and doesn't have the additional half tones. So if you use it, you may not need color separation later on. Now, select this green color. Go to Path, Create Work Path, double-click Path 2. Adjust. Fill with green, slightly different. My concern these areas. I'd like them to be attached. We could adjust path before, but I prefer another way. Select empty area with pencil tool. Fill those gaps. Now, we can do the same with light green area. Select it, create work path, double click, path 3. Adjust, go to Shape Layer, fill with light green, select Empty Area, fill with light green. What I like a lot about this mat. Now we can fill this area with ivory and this area with pink using Paint Bucket, contiguous checked anti-aliased all. 
We don't have to make path for them. And look, even though original edges are blurry, the final artwork is becoming in perfect way as an indexed print already. We can continue to create the entire print using this method. But I'd like to point out to some inconvenience compared to the same method in Adobe Illustrator. Let's try to outline this print in Illustrator. Open our print. We span to trace our favorite shape. If we fill it out, we can still adjust it in any way we want. Whereas in Photoshop, as soon as you fill the path, you are not able to change the shape. Obviously, you can change path again and fill it again, but do we need the additional work? So maybe we can continue to recreate this print in Illustrator. But in Illustrator, we cannot select area with magic wand. The main idea of this lesson, using path option as a transition between Photoshop and Illustrator. Get the benefits of these two programs and speed up your creating process as much as possible. So go back to Photoshop. Let's go to clean layer it will help to understand this function better, but remember, you can always use any blurry print. Select brown area. Choose contiguous and check. So we will select all brown elements. Because print is cleaned already, choose anti-aliased off, tolerance zero. Create work path. Double click. Path number four. Go to file, expert, path to illustrator. In the window, keep path name as this. Click OK. Let's save it. The good news is the file already has Illustrator extension. Save it. Open your Illustrator. Open our saved file. What happened? Why file is empty? That's because you've saved only the path. In Photoshop, the path didn't have any colors, no stroke, neither fill. How can we see it? Select all. See, it's already here. We have our default fill and stroke in Illustrator. Choose it. Now it's very easy to delete unwanted elements. Open our abstract file. Copy it. Go to path file. Create another layer. Put it below. And paste print in the lower layer. Now lock it. Let's start to fill path layer. Select these small spots. If you close path layer, you can see they are dark brown. With eyedropper, select dark brown, slightly different. See how they are filled. Now we remember all other areas are light brown. Select any element. Go to select, same, Fill and stroke. All our path area is selected. Find some light brown from the print layer. Try to change a bit. See, we have all light brown area ready. As you see, it doesn't have outline because we choose the colors from the print which has no outline neither. If for some reason you get outline, assign stroke empty. Now you can adjust our shape in Illustrator, which is much better for adjusting geometric shapes. It has a lot of more appropriate tools than Photoshop. I like this one, Smooth Tool. You can smooth our outline very fast, keeping feeling of it. Now, let's create next color part. Go to Photoshop, select dark green color, make work path, double click, path 5. Go to File, Export, Path to Illustrator, keep path 5, save with 2. Go to Illustrator, open new file, select all, default stroke and fill. 
Now select all and copy. Go to abstract file. Now we are going to place our new shape. My suggestion. Place every new shape below the previous one, but keep original as a background. So go to layers palette. Lock the recent layer. Create the new one underneath. Place our shape. Select all as we remember it needs to be dark green from somewhere here. If you don't find green color, just make it up, empty stroke. Close background layer. Now we can adjust green shape. First delete unwanted parts. Now you can see why we put new shape below. You don't have to worry about this side. We've smoothed already the brown one. So just be sure it's behind. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect, even crooked. In the same way, we can proceed with dark brown. Bright green. Pink and ivory. Always keep one last color not complete. When Illustrator file is ready, close the original print layer. Save file with the new name. Go to Photoshop. File open. In the Illustrator opening menu, select Anti-Aliased Off, Constraint Proportion, Mode RGB. OK. Go to original file. Find missing color. Fill with paint bucket. Contiguous unchecked, anti-aliased off. Go to Layers, Flatten Image. You have a file with perfect smooth color edges in front of you. Look how easy you can separate colors if you try to index them. You have exact amount of colors instantly. So now you know how to use pass function in Adobe Photoshop and make it helpful for transition between Photoshop and Illustrator to speed up your design process. Please subscribe to my channel, like it if you still didn't and don't forget to check your bell. See you soon.